गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एच सी एफ बाय लॉन्ग डिविजन मेथड ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस टू टू मेथड ऑफ एच सी एफ दैट इज वन बाय लिस्टिंग लिस्टिंग ऑफ फैक्टर्स द सेकेंड वन वॉज प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन एंड नाउ द थर्ड वन दैट इज लॉन्ग डिविजन मेथड नाउ टू फाइंड द एच सी एफ ऑफ टू और मोर नंबर बाय लॉन्ग डिविजन मेथड वॉट आर द स्टेप्स आई एम टेलिंग यू फर्स्ट इज डिवाइड द ग्रेटर नंबर बाय द smaller number in the first step what we do we divide the greater number by the smaller number second divide the divisor of step 1 and the remainder obtained in the step 1 okay then we will consider the divisor of step 1 we will divide the divisor of step 1 by the remainder which is obtained from the step 1 then what we do is divide the divisor of step 2 whatever divisor is the um, of step 2 by then we will divide that divisor by the remainder obtained in step 2 i am continue this process of dividing the divisor by the remainder till we get remainder as 0 and the last divisor obtained in this process is the required hcf the last divisor which we obtain is the hcf in case there are more than two numbers we find the hcf of the third number and the hcf obtained in the above steps by repeating the same steps and the last divisor is the hcf of the given uh, more than two numbers this is the way we find the hcf of two or more than two numbers okay it will be more clearer to you when i will explain you with the help of an example now let us solve one example that is Uh, find the hcf by long division method and the question uh, given is 18 and 19 we have to find hcf and we have to find by long division method okay now suppose here what uh, what is the first step which is given divide the greater number by the smaller number which is the greater number 90 is the greater number and we divide it by the smaller number okay now if we do 18 uh, 18 ones are 18 Uh, so uh, what is here 18 was are 18 18 2 are 36 18 3 are 54 18 4 are 72 and uh, 18 5 are here 18 5 are is 90 directly so naturally here hcf will be since we get the remainder zero in the first step itself the last divisor hcf is equal to 80 okay now let us solve one more example the next example is suppose you have to find hcf of 92 comma 132 suppose you have to find the hcf of 92 comma 132 now what we do is we divide the greater number that is 132 divided by 90 okay now Uh, 92 ones are is 92. Naturally, 92 into 2 when I did 2 to the 4 to 9 is a greater. It's a greater number, so it goes by 92 ones are 90. Now, what remainder is left? 2 minus 2 0. 13 minus 9 is 4. It is 4 coming. Okay. Now, what is the next step? Is that this remainder becomes what it becomes? It becomes the divisor, and the last dear this one, the divisor becomes the Dividend. Now 90 will be the dividend. Divide the divisor, which is uh, obtained from the first step, by the remainder which is obtained from the first step. Now 40, and we divide 90. 41 is a 40, 42 is a 80, 43 is a 120. So it goes by 42 is a 80. Now what I got is 2 and 12. I got it. Now, now what is the next step? Is divide. Is major remainder. Whatever remainder is left, this becomes the divisor, and the last divisor that means 40 becomes the dividend that means divide the last divide divisor which is from the from step 2 and the remainder which is obtained from step 2 becomes the divisor here now 12 ones are 12 12 2s are 24 12 3s are 36 i got 12 3s are 36 now what i got i got remainder as 4 okay now what is the next step is now what i will be doing 4 divided by 12 i did So I got four threes are, I got four threes are twelve. Okay, now twelve minus twelve zero. I got the remainder. यहाँ पे क्या remainder आया? I got the remainder as zero zero. That means it gets divided. What is the last divisor here? The last divisor is four here. So what will be the HCF? Okay, 
okay we continue the process till we get the remainder zero as i got zero here what is the last divisor here for so this will be the hcf that is hcf of 92 and 132 is 4 okay in this way okay so now one more example i will show suppose we have to find hcf of 330 and 1331 by long division method how we do is first we divide 1331 by 330 okay now uh, if i see 330 into 2 it will be 990 let me divide it by 3 okay 3 is a 0 3 is a 9 3 3 is a 9 3 30 into 2 zar will be 660 3 30 into 3 zar is 990 now 3 30 into 4 i am doing 4 zero is a 0 4 is a 12 Four threes are twelve plus one thirty. It becomes one three two zero. So it is less number. So four are one through two zero. Now what I got is one three minus two is one. Okay. Now uh, what remainder I got? I got the remainder as eleven. Now this will be the divisor, and the previous divisor becomes the dividend. Okay. Now eleven threes are thirty three. Okay. Now this zero I will bring it down. Eleven zeros are zero. So what is the now it gets divided completely. So what is the last divisor here? Eleven. So what will be the HCF? HCF will be eleven. Okay. In this way we saw. Now suppose if you have a uh, now let me take example which is having more than two numbers. Okay. Now how we are going to solve that one? Suppose you have to find The HCF of two uh, seventy. Suppose you have to find HCF of three sixty. This is an example uh, given three sixty comma two hundred sixty comma two hundred seventy. Okay. Now this is the example given. How we are going to solve this one? Three sixty, two hundred sixteen, and two seventy. Now out of these three numbers, what we do is which is the smallest number? Smallest number is two hundred sixteen, and next greater number is two seventy. So what we do is we divide the greatest. Uh, we divide the second greater number by the smallest number. Okay. Now two hundred sixteen naturally it will go by uh, ones are okay. Ten minus six four. Six uh, minus one. What I got? I got fifty four. Now this will be the divisor. Okay, and this becomes the dividend that is two hundred sixteen. Okay, now fifty four into four. If I do four four is a sixteen, four five is a twenty plus one twenty one. Okay, so it will go by four. That means two hundred sixteen. It gets completely divided. So HCF of HCF of two hundred sixteen and two seventy. What it is? HCF is Four. Ah, uh, sorry. HCF is the last divisor. Fifty four. Okay. Now what we do is we will divide. This becomes the divisor now. Okay. That means what is the number left? Three sixty is the number left. Left. Okay. Three sixty. Now I will make one line here. I am making one line here. Now here three sixty becomes the divisor now. Okay. And which three be sixty uh, becomes the dividend. And which becomes the divisor? What with the HCF we got from the these two numbers, fifty four becomes the divisor. Okay, now fifty four. Uh, if I will do fifty four ones are fifty four fifty four. If I will do by five, how much I am getting? Fifty four into five, five four is a twenty, five five is a twenty five plus two two seventy. I got fifty four six are six four is a twenty four, six five is a thirty thirty. I am getting. Six zar is three hundred twenty-four because if I will do by um, this one by seven, it becomes a greater number. Okay. Now three twenty-four. Ten minus four six. Okay. Five minus two. Three. What I got? I got fifty thirty-six. I got. Okay. Now what happened? This becomes the same process. We will repeat. This becomes the divisor, and fifty-four becomes the division. Okay, now thirty six ones are thirty six, thirty two six two zero will be seventy two. So it will go by one itself. Now fourteen minus six eight, uh, four minus three becomes eighty. What I got? I got a eighty. Now this becomes the divisor. 
and the previous divisor becomes the dividend 36. 18 ones are 18, 18 twos are 36. Now it completely divided. Okay, that means what uh, HCF we got? We got 18. Therefore, here, uh, here pe jo last uh, HCF of 54 and 360 it comes out to be 18. Therefore, we conclude that. Therefore, we conclude that HCF of 216, 270 and 360 is 18. Okay, the last divisor which I got becomes the HCF. Okay, in this way we solve the, uh, we do when we have to find HCF of more than two numbers. Okay, now one more example I will be solving. Okay. Suppose you have to find HCF of 275, 350 and 625. What we do is first, which is the smallest number? Smallest number is 275 and second greater number is 350. So what we do is we divide 350 by 275. Okay, naturally it goes by 1 itself. 1s are 275 by 2, 10 minus 5, 5, 4 minus 7, that means 14 minus 7, it becomes 7. I got 75. Now, 75 becomes the divisor 275. That means the last divisor becomes the dividend. Okay. Now, 75 mm, 4s are, it will go by, it goes by 75 3s are. If I do it by 75, suppose this is the ref column. Okay. 75 4s are, 4 5s are 20, 4 7s are 28, 29, 30. Okay. So, it goes by 3. 3 5s are 15, 3 7s are 21 plus 1, 14. So it comes out to be 225. Okay. 5 minus 5, 0, 7 minus 2. Okay. Now what I would be doing is uh, now the last divisor becomes the dividend. 50 ones are 50. Okay. So it comes out to be 5. It comes out to be 25. Now 25 becomes the divisor. 50 becomes the dividend. 25 twos are Got it? That means I got HCF of I got HCF of 275, 350. I got it as 25. Okay. Now what I would be doing is now this becomes the divisor and the number left over that is 625 becomes the dividend. Okay. Now 25, uh, this is 620 now divided 25, 2 are is 50. Okay, 2, 6 minus 5, uh, 25, 2 are is 50. Naturally it goes by uh, this one, 6 minus 5, 1. Now this 5 comes. Now 25, uh, 5 are is 125. So this whole number gets divided by 25. 25 divides 625, 25, 25 are is 625. So, that means 25 is the HCF of all these three numbers. Okay. Hence, hence, HCF of 275, 350 and 625 is 20. 25 is the HCF. In this way, we solve HCF of three numbers by long division method. Now I am sending the PDF of this question exercise 5C question number 3. Do that uh, assignment in your classwork copy. And um, if you are having any doubt you can message me regarding this question. Okay.